Hi everyone. So today's agenda is learning about lookup element in an OmniScript. Now, uh, in many videos, I have seen that <clears throat> it is shown how to use lookup element for filters on uh, two different objects or something like that. But when we have uh, queries or filters on the same object, multiple filters on the same object, then how to retain both the filters? That is the main aim of this video. So let's have a look. Now, as you can see, I have three accounts here, account one, account two, account three. Now, account one and two here are of type prospect. Account three is of type customer direct. Further, the ratings of this are as follows. For account one and three, it is hot. And for account two, it's warm. Okay. And now I'll show you the contact records. So one, one contact is linked to each account. Now, my first aim is to get all the accounts of type prospect. So let me go ahead and show you in the Omni script. First of all, what I'm doing here is I'm setting the value. I have hard coded the type value as prospect. So let me first get the lookup. Or first I'll, I'll brief you what all we are going to do. We are going to get all the contacts of uh, accounts whose types whose type is prospect then the next step will be getting all the contacts of account whose type is prospect and plus the rating is hot so it should only display this one so first we are starting with this step where all the accounts type is prospect so rather than getting account one two three i should just get account one and two so let's quickly start I'll pull the lookup element here. And let's write our first query. Okay. So data source type is object, S object. Now, what am I saying is I'm getting the value from type. Type is this here where I have hard coded the value. So, and its value would be given over here in this type. Now, I'm going to write my first query. What do I want to do is I want to get all the accounts whose type value is equal to this type that we are getting. And I'm going to call this as ACC, the path of this. Now, once I call this path, let me preview and show you. So, I'm not getting it. Let me go to action debugger and let me click over here. So why we cannot see anything right now is even if we are getting the values, we need to say that what needs to be actually stored. What do I mean by that is just doing this is not enough. We need to use this path and say that its ID will be stored in the backend and the label of it would be the name of this particular accounts that we are getting, of these particular accounts that we are getting. Okay. So let's preview it now. Now you can see type equal to prospect. That is what I've hard coded. So now when I select an account, its label is shown over here and its ID is stored over here in the backend, right? So this is the first filter that we were able to achieve. So like I told you, there are two accounts, account one and two whose types are prospect, right? So that's why I'm able to see account one and account two. Now my next aim is to see the contacts of these accounts. So that should be contact C1, contact C2. Now, how am I going to achieve it is 
I'll go ahead and write other query configuration. So lookup order will be two. Now I'm getting it from contact, right? Which field am I looking for? Account ID. Contact whose account ID is equal to. Now, what was the path here? JSON output path, ACC, right? So I would say ACC colon ID. So whichever accounts I'm getting here, contact of those accounts needs to be displayed. And the JSON path, I would say con. Let me save it. Now, because we want to show contact and not the accounts anymore, we'll change the path. At the back end, we'll store the contact ID. And at the front end, we are going to show the contact's name. So let me review this. Now I can see contact one and contact two. So we have achieved our second target, which is getting the contacts of the accounts whose type is prospect. So that's why you're not able to see contact three because contact three's type is not prospect, right? So we are going on the right track. Now, the main challenge is that I want to get account whose type is prospect plus whose rating is hot. And only for that particular account, I want its contact, which is contact C1. So let's see how can we do it. Now, what most of us would do is we'll add a query. We would make this second lookup object would be cont account rating equals hot and path would be the same, right? And this we would make as three. <clears throat> And its path is ACC colon ID, which will not change, right? So when I'm querying two things on the same object, I'm using the same JSON path, as you could see, ACC and ACC over here also. The first filter tells me that I'm going to get the accounts with type prospect. And the second filter that I'm saying is going to get me the accounts with rating hot. So it should be an AND condition, okay? It should not be one of them it should be both of them that needs to be satisfied and here again i'm going to show the contact so it will remain the same so let's preview this time now it is showing me all the contacts now why is it so so this is the catch your most of us will not get it like I was not able to find it easily but then I found it the solution to is it to it is after giving the same JSON path you need to make sure that you give the same lookup order as well so instead of giving lookup order two you need to make it lookup order one so that what will it do is it will get the accounts with type prospect store it in this JSON path then it will get the accounts with the rating hot. But on top of this, it won't override this. So hot and on top of this and it will update that. So that is why we need to keep the lookup orders as same. JSON path also same. And then contact will be again two. And the same JSON path of account and its ID. That's the catch. So now I'll show you the result. Now we are just able to see contact C1. Got it? So now we are able to see accounts with type prospect and rating hot. And that accounts contact is contact C1. That was what I was seeing here. Only contact C1. So this was about it. Thank you.